Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually starting this vlog at a bit of a weird time because it's like halfway through the day already but I'm just about to go food shopping now so I mean before I've even started I'm literally running out the door but we had an issue with our washing machine it broke last week so we have just had someone come and they managed to repair it but let me quickly show you the damage. Okay, so I'm so glad that it's fixed, but as you can see, our kitchen usually has these plinths on top, and yeah, everything has been ripped off. There's like pieces of the kitchen everywhere, so need to get someone over to fix that, but you can see my autumn leaves, and I've got the candle burning, and it's feeling very cozy and autumnal in here. So I mean generally quite happy with how the kitchen is, annoying that the washing machine broke but glad it's fixed but now need to sort those things out. Literally why is nothing ever straightforward, I feel like there's always an issue with everything. Anyway, less moaning, more carrying on with the day. <laughs> I need to do a food shop and then I'm going to do some different bits of cooking. I want to chat through a couple of different things with you guys as well and would love to kind of get your thoughts on those things. I always find it really useful to kind of vent my problems through here and just hear what you guys are thinking. So if you don't mind, excuse me. If you don't mind, please do stay and then let me know kind of what your thoughts are on those things. But yeah, off to do a food shop now. I was actually going to show you what I got. Well, maybe I still will, but I'm so hungry. So I'm going to crack on and have some lunch. I think just like a light salad or something, but then we'll show you guys what I got. And also show you an exciting delivery of new kitchenware that I got from John Lewis a couple of days ago. So yeah, I'm really happy with it and want to show you. It's still in the box. I ended up sitting, eating, then doing some work, so it's been a little while, but I'm going to show you what I picked up from the supermarket whilst I'm kind of unloading it, and then I'm going to crack on with the rest of the day. So, I've already eaten some of these, but I got some cherry tomatoes, some grazed nuts, which are my favourite. These are the punchy nut power chilli and lime ones, very good. Cucumber, I've already used half of, some lemons, right, and then, oh god, this is a bit... It's supposed to be frozen, but I've left it like an hour. Oops. Um, this is a grilled vegetable mix, which is a frozen mix, which I'm gonna use this evening or this afternoon to make a veggie lasagna. So we'll go through that recipe with you. Um, I've also got these whole chestnuts, which are for the lasagna. They are merchant, as you can see. I use these for quite a few veggie recipes. They're really good at giving a nutty, kind of meaty flavor unsalted butter. I got two barista oat milks which is what I use for cappuccinos and stuff. This brand is Minor Figures. I usually use Oatly but this was on offer so I thought I'd give it a go. It was half price. So that's good. I got some large peanuts which are roasted and salted. For anyone who doesn't know I am completely addicted to nuts. I got some normal milk, which is for the lasagna recipe. I don't actually drink that in coffee or tea or anything. Italian ricotta for the lasagna. Cheddar for the lasagna. Egg lasagna sheets. I wanted to get the fresh ones, but they were... The freezer in Waitrose was actually broken. So, not the freezer, sorry. The fridge was broken. So, really tricky to get lots of things. Some more vegetable stock cubes. Chopped tomatoes. Low calorie tonic. I don't know why I said calorie so weird there. Some bananas, just a couple, as we're only here for a few days this week. Some potatoes, because I'm going to make my parents some leek and potato soup later this week. 
So we got some leeks as well, bagels. I bought a vegetable quiche because I thought that would be good for lunch one day or two days. Some double cream for the soup. Some eggs for breakfast. So every day for breakfast I have bagels with um, scrambled eggs or toast with eggs and normally avocado as well. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting this all out at really good times when I'm talking about it. And then I got some tuna, a big jar of olives, and then also some Muller Crunch Corners, which if you've been watching for a while, you'll know Mikey eats every single day. Right, that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna put all of that away in the fridge and stuff now. Stormy, guys, Stormy had a haircut. Hello, baby girl. Stormy had a haircut last week, which, I don't actually love it, annoyingly. She really needed it, her fur was quite matted. And she still looks cute, but... <laughs> She's so licky. I liked when her body was all puffy, and now it's kind of, it's still really nice. She's got, she feels a lot softer, but her fur's really short before it was kind of out to here. Um, so, yeah, gonna let it grow out a little bit, but she did need a good tidy up, didn't you? So I have just finished, sorry, quick interlude, <laughs> I've been watching loads of TikToks recently where people are singing like stories and they stand like this and sing it to a Nicki Minaj song and every time I start to talk on camera I really want to do that but I'm not going to do it with you guys, promise. So I've just finished putting everything away and I'm actually going to pop out in a minute to pick up my new glasses thinking it's time for story time. <laughs> so I went to the opticians a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no, actually last week, because before we went on holiday, I was having really bad ear problems. I had my ears all checked. I was having headaches, all of these different things. So I thought it was a good idea to get my eyes tested just to kind of get the all clear, make sure everything's okay. And I do currently wear glasses, but not as much as I should. But basically, the optician tested my eyes and said that my left eye has started like deteriorating a lot to the point where I need to start wearing glasses all the time now. So I'm going to pick those up today, in a minute. But they also found that my old opticians, when I got my last pair of glasses, actually swapped the prescription rounds for either eye. So one eye is a positive, one's a negative. So it kind of meant that my glasses weren't doing anything or were doing the opposite. And I did think they seemed different, but it, I just assumed that was kind of because my prescription had changed and I had to get used to them, which is why I didn't wear them very much. So that whole incident has actually made my eyes a lot worse. It has now meant that I have to wear glasses all the time. Whether that would have happened or not, who knows, but yeah, it's quite frustrating. I'm not gonna blame anyone because obviously these things happen, but kind of annoying that, yeah, I now have to wear glasses all the time. Oh well. Whilst we're on the subject of kind of looks and glasses, and I'll show you my new ones when I pick them up, but let me just pop you up a bit higher. Oh, it's like being in the dentist chair. <laughs> But I know this is something I've spoken about a uh, not that much. <laughs> I had my hair cut quite a bit shorter as, oh, just kicked the camera. As you may be able to tell, it used to be kind of my fringe would come down to like here, but I would wear it up or like forward a bit. But yeah, I had a lot of my hair cut off. Um, it's still quite low here, but I'm thinking for anyone that's interested in hair or mm, fashion, any of those kind of things, I'm actually now thinking of having it even shorter, kind of just fully taken off, um, just to give it a go and see kind of how I feel. Having a buzz cut is obviously quite a thing right now. I know a lot of people are doing it. It's like quite in fashion, so I thought it's kind of a good opportunity to give it a go. My hair is like my dad's hair is very thin so i'm kind of thinking just to whip it off before it comes to that point maybe still have quite a high fade and have it just buzz to like maybe to like this kind of length so i've still got like a little bit of fuzz but with my having to wear glasses all the time i'm thinking that will probably distract from the bald head not that bald head looks bad but it won't be bold, it will still have hair, but yeah, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but I'll probably do it next week if I'm gonna do it. 
we'll see how it feels when I have like my glasses and stuff and yeah but I would love to know your guys thoughts on that because I think I'm having a bit not an identity crisis at all but I just want to have a bit of a makeover and change things up and wear like more fun things that I really love and have more of a look so maybe a buzz cut is my look I went for quite funky glasses so we'll show you those later peace Guys, Swami is literally having the longest drink ever, right now. Okay, she's done. I have just gotten back from picking up my new glasses and thought I would show you guys them. So in the past, I've had glasses from Specsavers, Vision Express, Ollie Quinn, if you've heard of it, loads of different places. This time I went to Ace and Tate, which there's the logo. Sorry, Stormy is kicking the tripod she stopped. So I got my glasses from Ace and Tate. They are a really, really good shop actually who I will definitely be using going forward. It was really quick, really easily, easily, easy. They did same day glasses collect if you wanted to, but I didn't want to hang around. Um, so in the case, which is like a black, I imagine like faux leather because they seem pretty like vegan vibes, you know, you can just tell. There is a glasses wipe, like as standard. There's like important, <laughs> that's funny, it says important legal thing, which I need based on what happened with me last time, if you heard. And then these are the glasses that I went for. So they're actually a completely round frame, which I've not had before. They're called Charles, if anyone is interested. And they're in a caramel color, which someone told me that you should kind of go for a color that's a bit similar to your skin tone and your hair, um, just so they look kind of more fitting and natural when you wear them. I've always gone for like green or black or something really different to my coloring but yeah apparently then it helps bring out your eye color and stuff which i thought this did it kind of made my eyes look a bit bluer um and then i've actually got a really square face i've got quite a square jaw and my head as well as you can see it's kind of like a bit angular so going for something rounder is always going to kind of soften my face and although you probably won't see me in my glasses that much on YouTube because with filming and stuff, like as you can see now, you can still see the reflection, even though I actually got that anti-glare glasses, so it should be a bit better. But yeah, I'm really happy with them and I think they're quite like fun. Fun, I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm just trying to show you. I think they're quite like classic, but also quite interesting because they're round. But yeah, something a bit more traditional. Bit of Harry Potter vibes. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That was Ziggy just having a little choke. You okay, my darling? Kisses. Yeah, so I was told to keep the glasses on, I wear them all the time anyway, but they basically said you might feel a bit like dizzy and stuff because of the swapped prescription and it's gotten a lot worse, um, but just try and wear them like as long as you can, so I don't want to keep taking them off really, but hopefully the glare doesn't bother you guys too much, I don't know how bad it is, it might be fine. Also, Ziggy update, he is fully good, Oh hugs. He's very good. He spent some time with Mikey's parents whilst we were on holiday. He's climbing me like a tree. Wait, that's actually a really rude thing to say, isn't it? I feel like that's a sexual innuendo. I obviously don't mean that about my little boy. He spent time with Mikey's parents and he's all good. He's just not really on camera as much because he's way more chilled. So he spends a lot of time just sleeping and relaxing. But he has started going out on a walk once a day. We've forced him to come out with Stormy. We, it's not that we didn't used to take him for anyone who thinks we were bad dog owners. We used to really try, but he hated walking. He wouldn't walk. We have a garden, so he spends a lot of time just kind of like sunbathing out there. And we do play with him and do training with treats um, so that it's kind of keeping his mind active. But he is just a lazy dog and he doesn't like to go out much. But since Stormy's been here, that has actually changed. He's definitely got more energy, especially just before bed. That's a story for another time. 
Um, but yeah, just thought it'd be nice to, for you guys to say hello. Say hello. <laughs> also, whilst I was out, I picked up some supplies from Dunelm because my opticians is in Bristol on Park Street. Did I say the brand? It's called Ace and Tape if anyone's interested. But I wanted to pop into Dunelm because I'm actually doing our home office fully, renovating the room start to finish, pretty much. We've had some panelling done and I've tried a few colours that didn't work, but um, I'm going to be wallpapering the ceiling. My friend Adam used this. His name's at Adam Shaw Design on Instagram if you don't follow him look at his page because it's very good. I'm going to be wallpapering the ceiling with this like natural kind of seagrass and then the walls are tongue and groove panelling which I'm going to be painting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing this myself. So I've got three rolls here. I don't know if it's enough because I haven't measured. I just got everything they had in the shop. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I've never wallpapered before, so this is probably going to be a disaster and I'll have to get professional in, but cost of living crisis, times are hard, I'm going to try it myself. <laughs> I got a wallpaper smoother, which I think you need, um, some wallpaper adhesive, which I think you just mix with like water, I didn't actually read it. Yeah, spring into water. And then I got a paste brush. My friend has told me that you just paste it onto the ceiling with this paper to make it look best. I got a wallpaper snap knife. I don't know what you need that for. Let me know if you're a pro. Um, and then I also got a dust sheet because I needed a new one anyway and I wanted to get one that we could use for multiple projects. So I got one of the ones that's a bit more expensive but should protect the carpets. So I'm going to show all of that, the plan for that in another vlog. I'm going to do a whole vlog dedicated to kind of doing the room start to finish, which I'm actually going to be starting tomorrow. So I've got loads left to get on with today. But yeah, starting that tomorrow, God. Stormy? No, no, no. So I'm going to be starting that tomorrow and we'll show you kind of the designs as and when I'm going to do them tonight. I've only checked that the wallpaper works with the paint colour, that's literally it. So yeah, I'll make a little YouTube video on that. And yeah, that's it. I need to get on with editing a video which is going live this evening. So this evening of me filming this, it'll actually be in a week or so for when you're watching. When you're watching this, it would have been last week that the video I'm editing now went live. <laughs> but I'm going to crack on with that and then I'm going to make some food, chat with you guys and show you a delivery that I got from John Lewis. Hey guys! Don't know why I'm doing this with my hand. So I've just been working on my glasses and oh my goodness the difference that it makes. It feels so much better. I feel really comfortable in them. I can see everything. I haven't got a headache for the first time in a while staring at the screen. So I've edited my video all uploaded and ready to go. It's actually made me feel so jealous of my previous self because the video I was editing was Come to Magic Kingdom with us, which was honestly the best day we've had in such a long time. I say that every day is amazing so I feel like that means a lot um, and it actually brings me on to something I wanted to chat to you guys a bit about on here but before I do I'm just going to get all the ingredients out and kind of start cooking yes let me do that okay so the recipe that I'm about to make is a mushroom and chestnut lasagna it's completely vegetarian so I thought I'd kind of run through what I'm going to be doing, but I'm actually going to try, if I can, and make a blog post. So if so, I'll link the recipe below. If not, there's a very similar recipe, which is a Waitrose one, which I've just slightly adapted, and I will link that below as well, because the inspiration for this is from them. All you need for the recipe is milk, cheese, well, cheddar, Italian ricotta, um, vegetable stock, lasagna sheets if you can get fresh that is better chopped tomatoes whole chestnuts i use the merchants ones 
and then just this grilled vegetable mix. You can probably get something similar from other supermarkets, but I love this one and it's so easy and it's literally like ready to go. Literally from um, frozen, this takes four minutes to fry, so really good. Mikey's just home from work as well, so the dogs are out and running around because I put them away for an hour just to give me some time to crack on with work and cooking and stuff. Basically, here I am. <laughs> I just wanted to talk a bit about like locations and stuff, following on from talking about Disney. I'm sure Mikey will come and join in in a minute, but we had such a nice time in Florida and really loved the... I would probably say the people the most. Everyone was so friendly, and I know it's not like that all the way across the US, but I really loved how polite everyone was, the customer service, obviously they're working for tips, and yeah, it's just felt really different in there. We've been before, probably, I've been like seven or eight times, oh, Mikey's here, come say hi. Hi. Okay. You've got Siggy. Because little baby. Little baby. Do you want to get our other baby? Call me. We really loved it. We've probably been, I've been like eight times. Very lucky. How many times? You've been like three or four to Florida, haven't you? Just yes. talking about Florida. And we loved it so much. And whilst we were there, we kept saying like, oh, I can imagine. Oh, let's take a thumbnail. Bye, all Call me. Still me. <laughs> What's that? So we loved it so much whilst we were there, we kept saying how much we could imagine living there, didn't we? Yeah. I don't even know what it was, I don't think it was the place. I think I was just saying how nice, you know, all the people were and driving was really nice, everything's really easily yeah. accessible. Oh, we're wearing matching jumpers. These are the same jumpers yeah. in different colours. Snap. Twins. Kind of got us thinking about future planning and like where we're gonna live and stuff because I think it's really easy. I don't know if you agree with this. Come closer. <laughs> now I look really tall. But you can leave now anyway. I may as well just do this chat on my own. Yeah, so it kind of just got us thinking about where we might like to live, our favourite places in the UK or abroad. I have always dreamt of living in New York which is something I've mentioned on here. I've wanted to live in London for a long time and as we're getting nearer and nearer to finishing the cottage and the renovation, we are thinking more about potentially relocating. I love the idea of living in Brighton. That's like one of my favorite places that I've been and we felt really comfortable to be ourselves and be a married couple there. Um, yeah, so just kind of thinking about it. If you have anywhere that you think would suit us, I know some of you might be new here or you might not know us very well, but please do let me know in the comments below because I'd be really interested to hear your guys' thoughts of new places we should try and visit and yeah, maybe fall in love with and end up living there. I've just gotten the lasagna out of the oven. It's topped with parmesan, mozzarella and cheddar and it's all bubbling away and browned off nicely. So gonna dig in now. Hey guys, it has, sorry, I always feel so awkward when I say hey guys. I don't know why, I feel like I'm pretending to be like a vlogger. <laughs> so it's been a couple of days since we last caught up I have been working on a couple of campaigns and one of them is with John Lewis and this isn't with the stuff that I'm about to show you. It's on a uh, room upstairs, which is our study. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but you will see it in another vlog. But I thought I'd show you some of the other stuff that John Lewis really kindly sent me because I love it and I think you guys will as well. I've just been unboxing it all for a TikTok. This is a jug. Obviously, you can tell. It's one of their new ones. I think it's called Lidford. Oh no, Leckford. Leckford jug. And it has like a really nice grey stripe to it, which I think would work really well in literally any, any interior. I'm really happy with that. I've got these um, like placemats that are in this kind of greyy colour and they reminded me um, of that, this collection. So I actually did get a few more pieces from the collection, which... I will also show you now. So I got these cereal bowls. I'm not sure how, if it's gonna focus. Ah, there we go. 
Um, so I got the cereal bowls in the same pattern, ignore this, I've been painting. I really love this kind of subtle stripe, they feel really handmade, which I love. They're microwave, dishwasher safe, so you can't really go wrong. So I also got the plates in the same collection. I will pop the link for all of these things down below because I know, especially with Christmas and dinner hosting season coming up, it's really good to get some new crockery and some new cutlery, all of those kinds of things. So I'm gonna be doing a few hauls that are kind of linked to that and yeah, hosting that we're doing in the house as well. So really happy with those. I actually got four, I think four, maybe six of each. I'm yet to unbox the rest. And then this, I am so impressed with. So for anyone who is a lover of Le Creuset, John Lewis sell these, they do sell Le Creuset as well, but they sell these cast iron stoneware dishes, which to be honest, look very similar to the Le Creuset. This looks like the gray one. I already have a white Le Creuset, so I wanted to go for a slightly different colorway, and I thought this felt really nice for autumn baking. You know, when you're baking like really warm colored crumbles and all of those things, I thought the cooler color kind of offset it a bit. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. And also, I don't know if anyone has seen about gray, but I think it was actually pitched to be colour of the year this year or next year, like most popular colour. And I think it's because it first came around like 10 years ago, um, grey being such a big thing. And I think it's almost gone full circle now that the people who first liked grey are kind of coming back into it. And it's not going to be like grey on grey, crushed velvet, that kind of vibe, but using it as an accent to colours like yellows, oranges, burgundies, those kind of things. Um, which I'm actually really enjoying doing as well. I thought grey was like no more for me, but I upstairs have just been doing our study and I've actually ordered or about to order some curtains that are in a really pale grey because the room has like a green colour to it. There's a lot of gold accents and I think the grey really kind of softens everything and balances it out. So for those saying grey is dead and it's never coming back, I actually think it's going to make a re... re... come back? <laughs> it's going to come back but I think in a different way. It's not going to be grey all over the walls or if it is, it's going to be paired with some other really fresh and invigorating colours, particularly for next spring and summer. I think there'll be a lot of like yellows or mustards with a very pale, maybe even slightly warmer or cooler grey. Kind of like, let me show you. So, these um, tea towels that I bought a while ago from HomeSense with this grey, so like bluey greys, and then paired with something really warm like this wood colour, I think that works so well. There's really something in that. So imagine if you had these kind of really warm floors and then a very soft grey wall colour and then maybe you had, <coughs> so you have those, and then maybe you pulled through some rust colors. This is a cushion for something that I can't talk about yet. I think we're really onto something there, guys. Let me know what you think. If you think gray is dead, then I would like to know. I think it's been dead for a few years and it's finally coming back. Not that I wanted it to, but I'm kind of glad that it's making a subtle reoccurrence. That's the word I was looking for, reoccurrence. <laughs> uh, so I look a bit of a mess today. I, ooh, <laughs> I have my new glasses on, um, which I'm trying to wear, or I have to wear constantly, but I'm trying to get used to wearing in videos and stuff. You guys obviously don't really see me with glasses, so it takes a bit of getting used to. Today I am planning on going and doing a little bit of exercise. I was up quite early working and we're actually heading to Dartmouth this evening so you may or may not see that on the next vlog because we're going with some friends so I don't really love vlogging all of that. But I'm actually going to be changing my approach to vlogging slightly. I think I've been a bit higgledy piggledy all over the place recently, but I'm going to try and just do two vlogs every week and just include everything that goes on in those vlogs. So one of them will probably be Monday to Wednesday, one of them will be the rest of the week. And in that I'll include any homeware I receive, any random thoughts like talking about the colour grey, 
<laughs> just any, even this, just talking about how I'm kind of evolving and changing what I'm doing because I find it really difficult to manage all of these different areas of life and I want to show you guys on YouTube the realist version of me and my life and what me and Mikey get up to and also homeware. I want my channel on YouTube Instagram, TikTok, anywhere I'm going to be, I want it to be focused on homeware and we're still very much renovating our house. It's not quite done yet, but I want this to be a place that I can document it, I can talk about it, I can show you new homeware pieces, styling and do everything in more depth. So I hope that you guys will like the idea of that rather than doing like a sit down video talking about something, a travel video. Like I'm just gonna do two vlogs a week and just kind of keep you up to date with what's going on. And if you do choose to watch and you enjoy that, obviously I am so, so grateful for it. And if that's not for you, let me know. I'd love to know what you would like to see. I'm still gonna be working on the kind of design series. It took a bit of a halt because of me being really unwell and because of holidays, but yeah, gonna get back to that. But just thought I would kind of run you guys through what I'm thinking and what I'm gonna be doing going forward. In case you think this video is really higgledy-piggledy for what I normally do, that is why. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do a bit of exercise this afternoon. Maybe this morning, it's only 10 o'clock. I've already done quite a lot today as well. But I'm also gonna pop into Bath because the White Company sale has started. So I wanna have a cheeky look there. So I thought I'd take you guys along. And then once I've had a look, I'm gonna do an online order as well. Just because I like it. <laughs> I also wanted to say, talking of shopping and homeware i am going to start doing some like really affordable maybe 20 pound homeware hauls to show you what you could get for certain budgets and going to different stores that are of sorry i think stormy just growled <laughs> different stores of different values that will be coming up as well and if there's stormy if there are any shops that you want me to go to or do a little haul from please comment below now, pause the video and let me know um, because it's really, really useful for me to know what you guys want to see. Okay, going into Bath, bye. So I've just parked in Bath. God, I look such a mess today. I've literally just showered and put on some moisturizer and chucked on my gym clothes. Not a great look. Yeah, I've just parked in Bath, I'm just walking into town. I just wanted to come on and say, I'm sure everyone's feeling the same, but it has gotten so, so cold in the UK right now, like actually freezing. I'm wearing obviously shorts and a hoodie, but from it being summer, like what feels like five minutes ago to now being actually freezing cold, I just can't deal with it. I feel like, you know, I was talking about potentially moving abroad or something. I'm gonna have to at this rate, especially with the cost of living crisis and not being able to afford heating or anything. We're really trying to not put our heating on yet, but I think we might need to give in and just go for it and put it on because it's literally freezing. I mean, next step is I'm gonna have to start getting all the coats. Can you see the steam? My goodness, it's unbelievable. Yeah, next step is gonna be getting coats and jackets and like all of my winter clothes out. I have started getting the house kind of ready for autumn, but I think I'm gonna have another big clear out and like sort through everything in the next few days because I really wanna put all of our like autumn accessories out. So maybe I'll later today do like a big autumn home haul and then can show you guys everything I get in that and then do a big install day at the house and get everything really ready and cozy, ready for the new season because I'm excited. I really need a coffee. I haven't had one yet today, so I'm gonna go and get one now. So Bath ended up actually being a bit of a letdown. <laughs> I couldn't find anything really in the White Company, but I did do a big online order just now in the gym. So that was good. I didn't even end up getting a coffee. I'm just gonna go home and make one myself. Trying to become a barista. If you don't know, follow me on Instagram. 
Instagram, follow me on TikTok and you'll see all of my sales trying to do that. <laughs> but yeah, didn't end up buying anything, but I've got a big white company haul coming, which I will show you probably in my next video as this one's gone on a little while. I'm thinking that'll probably be my getting the house ready for autumn. It's a little bit late because it's October in a couple of days and normally I like to be like a month ahead. But yeah i am going to wrap this video up here but thank you so much for watching i'm sorry that it included so many like deep random chats about different things but let me know where i should move let me know if you like the color gray and give me any coffee tips <laughs> thanks for watching guys see you soon bye